Hola. On Thursday morning, uh, quarter to ten. I'm on my way to Babina Boulders. There's a campsite there which is free and there's great swimming apparently. Um, but it's not very far. So from Mission Beach where I started today. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'll get to Innisfail which is just sort of 10 k's away and I will get on the internet because I haven't had internet for a while and have a look around. I've also got to book some stuff for the Daintree and just north of Cairns. But I thought I'd come to Etty Bay because I had that on my list of things to do. I can't remember why. So I'm here at Etty Bay. Oh, there's people swimming. Is, is that a wave? No way. It's a very cute little town. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we'll just have a look around. And, uh, see what I can see. Here we go. Okay, this is getting ridiculous now. The amount of places I've been to where it says people have died here. And it's all swimming related. None of the areas that say, you know, there's crocodiles or whatever, say that people have died there. <laughs> it is just, they should forget the warnings about crocodiles when you go to Queensland, don't swim. So many people die swimming, and yet nobody dies from crocodiles. Ah, oh, there's one of the birds I took a picture of yesterday. The scrub hen. Yeah, here we go. All right, let's go and have a look at Devil's Pool. All right, so this is where people have died. Let's be honest, people have died in their bathroom, so, oh, okay. All right, well, you get a Darwin Award if you decide to jump in there. That's pretty spectacular. But, um, yeah, I'm sort of a clown. I want to go swimming in that. Kayaking, maybe. <laughs> wow, that would be fun. Okay, so I can see why people would want to swim there. That's very inviting. It's a long way down. And you're not getting back up. So this is the next stop along the Devil's Pools. And here's the last stop. The viewing platform for the Devil's Pools. I'm instantly thinking of Romancing the Stone with Michael Douglas. I don't know why. Some vegetation maybe. Oh wow. Look at those rocks. Spectacular. And a carve out of the water through those rocks is unbelievable. That would be a fun slide right there. But not for this little goat. I'm going back to the benign calm pools of Babinda's boulders. 
And this is the calm pools where you're allowed to swim. A few people here, but I'm sure I'll find a nice, quiet, secluded spot. See some fishies, maybe a turtle. So this is where I'm camping tonight. My tent is just up to the left of that hut up there. Um, and the place, I don't know, it's like a, uh, it's kind of like a festival venue or something, a commune. Um, yeah, the rain's just started. Of course, the afternoon rain, that's all right. Um, it's yeah, oh, like a resort. It's incredible, but it's dirt cheap. It's 20 bucks for a powered site. Um, and you can use all the facilities. They've got a great bar. This is only one of the bars. Um, I'll have to turn the phone off when I go out into the rain. Different type of bush turkeys. So I had a very interesting night last night. Um, went to the camp kitchen to cook my dinner, and, and there was a a, a commune, um, a, a bunch of hippies who I think are residents here at the campsite here, um, led by Popeye. Grizzled old, they're, they're all dope smoking hippies. Um, and he's this grizzled old guy that was full of stories. Um, but the interesting story, well, the, the interesting fact that I got out of the night, it was great, it was fun. Um, but the interesting fact I got out of it was that butterflies, I now know why they're called butterflies. I don't have to eat one to find out if they taste like butter. The reason they're called butterflies is because their wings beat at precisely the right velocity that you would beat butter to make cream or whatever, um, or to, to churn butter. So that's why they're called butterflies. It's fantastic. I'm going to believe it. I'm not even going to look it up. I'm just going to believe it and now start sprouting that. That's the reason why they're called butterflies. My years-long quest to find out the reason has now been satisfied. Anyway, I'm on the way into the town of Kundara because I need to shed some hair. Uh, I, I, my plan was, loose plan, was just to not, not groom for, for seven months and see what it looks like. Uh, however, it's too hot. This face fuzz is too hot, it's got to go. So I'm going to get a pair of clippers um, and I'm going to lose about five degrees of heat on, on my head, I think. Um, hopefully, anyway, it may look a little silly or I don't know, who cares, but it's got to go. So that's the plan, do some shopping, come back, I'm staying another night here just to charge up everything again before I head to the day tree. No more face buds. I do apologise to the people of the vicinity. It is actually Karanda, not Kundara. My deepest and humblest apologies. I sincerely hope that I have offended anybody and I withdraw my comments post haste and forthwith and offer any redress to the citizens of this fine community. This is the Karunda Market. 
it's cold, it's like a little village. Hello. G'day, how are you? So there it is.